Ohio Gazimas, Hiromi Asami here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you a tier 9 premium battleship USS Missouri or the Mighty Mo. Also, at the end of this video, I got something special coming up, so stay tuned. USS Missouri was commissioned on June 11, 1944 as a sister ship of the Iowa class. She was famous for the location where the Japanese surrendered to the Allies on September 2nd, 1945 in Tokyo Bay. She also served during the Korean War and Operation Desert Storm. Right now, she resides as a museum in Hawaii and become a Hollywood model in the movies Under Siege and Battleship. In World of Warship Splits, she resides as the fastest ship of this type. She carried very powerful main battery guns and boasted excellent AA defense and reliable torpedo protection. Also, she is the first tier 9 premium ship in the game, as well as the first battleship to have radar and first ship to have radar too. In comparison to her non-premium sister ship, Iowa, she has a slight increase of HP, mobility, AA and stealth. She trades rapid reload to precise aim for better dispersion, making a great contender in skirmish matches. As to this day, she holds a unique camel, the Day of Victory. This unique camel boasts better mobility and better AA, as well as her main gun range. In my opinion, the rear design is the best I have seen. Each turret has a dove symbolizing peace and hope. Also, if you look at some dubs, you will see the number 1945 in it, recognizing the year where the Japanese formally surrenders to the Allies. However, the bow of the ship, it looks like a dove that got ship killed by a space plane, then got super stretched due to supersonic speed, and got her head smacked by multiple asteroids to the point where the head is flat and the beak is curved. I don't know whoever did this, but props to that person. Moving on to the setup. For supplies, you will want improved crew rations, preventative maintenance pack, and extra AA ammo. For random and ranked battles, the equipment you want to use are main battery mod 3, propulsion mod 1, and steering gear mod 2. As for skirmish matches, you will want artillery plot room mod 1, deck protection mod 1, and air defense mod 1. For your commander skills, you want to spec on precise aiming, survivability, APCS, and demolition expert for any type of battles. For camouflage, you can use the historic camel for better dispersion or the day of victory camel for better AA. War steel and crossfire are your best alternative if you don't have enough gold to spend on those two. For elite ship bonus, I prefer advanced gun director because you can achieve over 16 kilometers with your main guns with the artillery plot room mod 1 and the camouflage. Early in game, your goal is to play within distance. 12 kilometers or more is the best you want to do. Play passive and help your teammates to take down battleships or broadside cruiser with using precise aim. At mid game, start to play a little bit more aggressive and take down snowflakes or wandering ships and BBs as they are approaching to Davy Jones' locker. Beware the destroyers as they can easily eat your oil away. <coughs> and Shimakaze. Also, when going against tier 10 battleship, never engage them in a 1v1 match. Firepower between tier 9 battleship and tier 10 battleship are too far greater than you. Also, Iowa can actually beat you because he has rapid reload and he only has precise aim, so play within distance against an Iowa. Radar. It's going to be your favorite weapon to take down British cruisers and destroyers. For example, if you see a destroyer under smoke, wait until your guns are fully loaded and use your radar. Once you see the destroyer, unleash all your rounds to her and watch the damage fly. All in all, the Missouri is the best tier 9 premium ship in the game. It's basically Iowa, but better for skirmish, if Wargaming can give us tier 9 skirmish matches. Alright, now for the special review. I conducted a research by opening 3000 containers using my press account to figure out what percentage can you get on all blueprints from level 1 to level 5. I opened 1000 containers each from 3 different sections, gunboat, torpedo, 
an aircraft carrier. Mostly, I'll give different results. Since I know you guys do not want me to see opening all 3000 containers, I speed lapsed them all and it took 41 minutes and 15 seconds plus the delay and plugging in numbers. It basically ended up taking almost 50 minutes to conclude my research. So here are my results. As you can see here, I have not obtained any level 1 blueprints from 3000 containers. If you're wondering what G, B, P, and O is about, G is level 2, B is level 3, P is level 4, and O is level 5. As for blueprints, your most common is actually a level 3 blueprints, then level 2, level 4, and level 5. You can pause this video here to check out the percentage of all the blueprints or you can click in the link description below and go to other info tab and scroll to the right to find the exact chart on my elite ship database. Alright, you think this is finished? No. I also run another experiment during the Black Bismarck event. I made a race bar chart where you can see the top 15 players in North America racing to get into the top 10. In the end of that week, I managed to jump from 12th place to 7th place within a week span. However, due to this jump, I negatively affected my health and at the time at the end of the month, I dropped from 7th place to 9th place, which I am still happy to get the ship. I wonder if I should make a review of this ship. Hmm. Alright, that is enough for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more World of Warships Blitz content, and I'll be looking forward to see you at seas next time. Ciao,